But hopefully now um, I won't be so nervous because I've done it once. Yeah. yeah. Same same here with the voice as well. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Roleplaying Unlimited Presents Isilia coming to you live from the 100th Meridian, where the Great Plains begin. I am your host, Tragically HP, and we have no video on the live stream. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, no capture. What could it be? Oh, it's because I changed the uh, the name of the channel from It's a Secret to Isilia. <laughs> it's that finicky. There we go. And a little adjustment here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I thought I, <laughs> I have. Oh, geez, that's even. Does worse. anybody? Does anybody? Yeah. Does anybody know what they're truly doing? Very no, true. I don't. True. Turn off camera. That's not what I want. So we've got a very good shot of my shirt and then tiny pictures of Chloe and Sarah underneath it and then like one quarter, this quarter of my five head, like on uh, one section of the street up here. How the F Oh gosh. I... Hey, there we go. I did it. I fixed it. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> pushing buttons. And eventually it works. That's for all. All silent clap as my siblings do it. <laughs> I think that could, yeah, like, I think it's like for deaf people, they do that at school, like silent claps. I don't know, that's what my sister told me. Oh, is my audio coming in quiet again? Yeah, I'm generally pretty, uh, pretty soft there on the stream. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes through okay now, though. I turned the music down a little bit there, Fringe. Yeah, for sure. I know, uh, I'm naturally. That, that's good. <laughs> Naturally, you, I've talking. I've watched over this. Sorry. Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna let you talk. And then, <laughs> um, I was gonna say I've all connected to, to my phone, and it gets um, the music's really loud on the live live stream as well. I would it say. was, yeah. I watched it over. Gotcha. I think I watched it over as well. My voice was really loud. For sure, I have That's everybody's uh, output turned up pretty high because uh, it doesn't register very high and then the music I try to like balance in the middle but it's a little mm. finicky no doubt but anyway <laughs> welcome back very excited to have you all here in addition to uh, Rubido welcome thank you thank you very much it's good to be here yes indeed good times to be had by all Yeah, it's weird. Chloe and Sarah come through very strong, as does uh, Elise there, and weird, we just lost video again. <laughs> That's gonna be tricky. I don't understand it. Oh no. Whatever. Ew, down. In any case, last session, our characters uh, departed... Brando City after hearing rumors of a traveling wizard by the name of well, no, yeah, no, no, no. Um, Tra no travel that's not no it was no that's with a h <laughs> um fuck can we buy a clue <laughs> Henry Harry I should have written that down. I thought I did. <laughs> we didn't do our homework. No worries. I swear I wrote it down. Logan! His Hi, name Logan. is Logan! Logan is correct. <laughs> I wrote it down! <laughs> correct! I said that. Yeah, I couldn't tell who was, uh, what was all said over everything. Ooh, here we go. I said it first. I find oh, that really? to be a very attractive name for 
Hey, uh, how about my audio there on the stream now? It seems that all my output reset um, when I changed all my Discord settings, what have you. Uh, You're coming in clear here. There are, I think you're frozen. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> you froze for a minute. She's frozen. Yeah, on my laptop. Oh. Doing that sometimes, don't know why. <laughs> but you have a lovely smile in the frozen image, I see. Well, me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been told I have a nice smile, but I've got wonky teeth. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. Yeah, she had wonky teeth, so most of her kids need braces, including me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I Genetics. had braces. <laughs> Another contribution this is to the you open table challenge. Very nice. <laughs> Get comfortable with this cushion here. There we are. Well, when last we left off uh, previous session, we had encountered a trio of bandits lying in wait for an They're ambush. <laughs> and it uh, definitely was a somewhat comedic ending to the whole affair as two of them ended up uh, shooting each other, and one of them was the most clueless of them all, just kind of had his back turned while the rest of you escaped on by... Had no fashion sense. <laughs> yeah, the fa no fashion sense, guys. I no fashion him. sense. <laughs> he has no fashion sense whatsoever. <laughs> was he wearing socks and sandals? I think he was just wearing black, and we could see him. Exactly, yeah, yeah wearing all he black. He wasn't camouflaged. <laughs> Classic uh, Old West villain, but definitely did not mesh in well with the desert backdrop, so to speak. I did not expect them all to die. <laughs> no. Yeah, that uh, apparently they already had some grudges between themselves, as the mere offense mm -hmm. of one of them smacking the other apparently on the back with a stick was enough to warrant a death sentence. And we are Obviously. approaching the Virgin Lake here, presumably in search of a raft or a riverboat that we can use to make our way right. upstream towards uh, Crystal City, where uh, Logan has last been sighted. It is uh, one of the larger cities in the region. And that is actually just, in fact, where we left off last session. So I'm thinking... To start this off, since we are approaching a lake and we have a water-themed character about to introduce to the group, we should probably get that underway and then figure out what we're going to do about our passage further. Amazing. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So, uh, Rubido, what, uh, how Sorry. do you envision your character being present here on the shores of this lake? Uh, what is your character's background that you uh, would care to share with us and general character details? Well, I think, to be fair, he's probably sat fishing on some sort of fabric cobbled raft made of whatever loose debris he happened to strap together and i would imagine that most likely well he is definitely drinking and just watching the world go by as for backstory i think sorry i'm a bit new to this but no worries, I you don't have to have much backstory developed, but if you did that you wanted to share with us, that's totally cool. I think he's probably just turned up is somewhere to catch fish, and it's near enough to the closest bar. I like so, it. So, roll me a do? survival check, if you would, please. Yep. How does he do that? If you open your character sheet and scroll down, should be on the left kind of side, you'll see all of your skills. Yep, and the very bottom one is uh, survival. Okie dokie. Go up. Yeah, there you go. Click that. Yeah. Woohoohoo! 
contributions coming in on those milestones here on the Twitch reward. Oh, it has been a very poor day fishing, unfortunately, with a sick Ow. survival check. Uh, it's mm. kind of like the uh, scene in Forrest Gump when he has three shrimp and the guy's like, yeah, a few more, you can get yourself a cocktail. So uh, mm. it, you've seen better days for sure. Yeah, I'm not in good condition here. <laughs> I don't know if the uh, three ladies approaching the shoreline would see your character swearing into what you presume is the silent surroundings or uh, what the uh, the case might be, but this is uh, as good a opportunity as any for our group to coalesce. There any. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're we're pretty much walking up to this this section, this section now. Um, so I, I look to everyone. Uh, okay, we need to find a boat. We need to find a boat. We need to get to uh, Crystal City. And um, I start looking around. Can I roll a Can I roll a perception for to see um, what I believe would be the best boat? to go across the river on or 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 even um perception investigation um as oh, sorry I, i'm like i'm too far ahead i'm like okay i need to find out <laughs> i need to find out <laughs> what what the what the water is like as we go along there okay you know what i changed my mind i'm gonna go up to um this this man i'm assuming sorry i is he the only Oh no, freeze. Oh, <laughs> <We've> <laughs> no, you kind of frozen a little bit. Yep, gone into complete freeze there. It'll reset here in a moment it happens. There Yay! we go. So you were asking, for a little bit. Yeah, you were asking about the fisherman that you saw and if he was and then we lost yes. after that. If he was um if there's many people around or is it mostly just him? Um at there. Over there right now. There are a few other fishermen boats out on the lake. His is the closest to the shore at the uh, the current time. Okay, so he's closest to the shore, and he's just on like the jetty bit, or is he on his boat? Uh, you're on your raft, right, Rubio? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're on the raft. We're oh, just seeing him floating by. Um, is he a shoutable distance? <laughs> Oh, that's that's a good question. Can we shout over? I would say so. All right. If, um. Uh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> the two things we need to know is what mm -hmm. the water, because I've got no idea. I don't know what the water's going to be like if if it's like a treacherous water. There are monsters out there. I don't know anything about that. So I'm going to ask him. Um, so I, I walk up to us uh, chatting. Hello! <laughs> you there on the boat! <laughs> <laughs> <That's me. Hello. laughs> Do you Hello. know these waters? <laughs> huh? I, yeah. Okay. We'll just. Oh. That. No, sorry, I kept and cutting ask out. Him if he knows I'm out of and yes, hello. Hi, I'm wondering. Yeah, no. Um, no, because I'm okay. <laughs> Am I frozen? Yeah, your, sp your screen keeps freezing for some reason. Oh, can you still hear me though? Yeah, you're coming uh, in now. No, yeah. No. Oh. Take Did you hear my question? Oh, that's annoying. No. Yes, no. okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, really? Dang it. 
So, okay, hopefully it stops doing that. Um, I yell out, um, do you know these waters? Yes, very well, thank you. And I hold my beard oh, back. Um... <laughs> hold it up. Oh, and amazing. I hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you know where the Crystal City is? If you can get me a pint, then I will definitely be able to tell you. Um, can I roll a perception to see if I trust this character? <laughs> I wouldn't trust me. <laughs> roll oh, it. okay. <laughs> <laughs> roll an insight check. An insight, thank you. Do you think you're loyal? Hold on. You got your dice? I do. I'm just looking for insight. Oh, yeah. Cool. Ooh! 10 plus 2. 12. Well, if he's saying that you shouldn't trust him, I'm going to say that you're, uh... Your intuition Bit. is ringing pretty true here, <laughs> but if he's uh, if you're trying to be deceitful there, then you can match that with a deception check there, Rubido, and try to try yeah. to present yourself as a, a little more charming than you might be. <laughs> there we go. This, yeah. Oh dear. Well, that's a three <laughs> matching Chloe's twelve. <laughs> no, no. So, no. Yeah, he's got like flies buzzing around him, and like <laughs> he's got instead of the angel and the devil on the shoulders, just two devils. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Okay. So I look. I look to the the two girls, the two women I'm with. I say to them. I'm not sure, I, like, how do you guys feel? I'm not sure. Should we try to find a different person to to go across the river? I'm really not sure about this guy. He's, like, got flies around him. I, like, I've... He just doesn't... I, I have this gut feeling. I'm not sure we should trust him, but... What do you guys... What do you guys think? Well, darling, I have the same intuition that you do. My stomach is telling me I don't... Be like he's right in the head either, so I don't know. Just probably go with you, I guess. Because I got the same intuition. Yeah. I don't trust him one bit. He doesn't look like a trustworthy person. And I see crazy winged eye creatures around him, so yes. <laughs> oh, good, you saw them too. <laughs> I, I, I thought guess, I was going mad. I, I guess I think he's probably just drunk. And you know what drunks can be like. I mean, he's been on the raft drinking beer. Look at him. He's a mess. Maybe we need to soak sure? him up. These sea folk can be a little uncouth. They do have a reputation for that. Some of them do have a, a good old heart of gold underneath, though. All right. How, so how about... A compliment there in the Twitch chat for her excellent roleplay. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my buddy friend. That is so funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's, uh, what, 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 how can we sober him up? Well, I'm thinking we should find someone else if we can. Or we just push him into the it... water. A good old dunk. I'm going to push him. Just have to find okay. a way to get to okay. him first. <laughs> Wait, 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 please. <laughs> well, let's think right about this. We need someone to, we need a captain to take us across to Crystal City. And pushing the captain off the boat is probably not a good start. Also, I don't care. I really want to push him. I'm sure he can swim. I don't my head. I, I just do this. <laughs> I like to push. Push myself, thank you. You just go and push some get... random person <laughs> off the <laughs> phone. Yes. I do it all the time. Doesn't bother me. All them. Should we just go talk to him? Oh, I've they're... tried. 
This is a less than auspicious character debut for uh, Rubidos. Now we're getting chants in the Twitch chat for mutiny! Mutiny! <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy only took out his rap five this, yeah. minutes ago. I barely know this character in the Oh, man. Um, okay. So the only the thing that's going to make my decision is if I look out, is there anyone else that's nearby or is he like the only person that really has the boat to go on? Yeah, that's a good question. Is there other yeah. people fishing or just him? There's, just him? there's other people fishing. He's just the only one that was within shouting distance because his proximity to the shoreline. Oh. Well, maybe we can just go into his boat and get him to swim us, like, row us across to the other ships, maybe. To the other ones, yes. So many good yeah. ideas. That's just me, that's not Vera. <laughs> oh, so Vera doesn't have that idea. <laughs> no, it's just me in general. <laughs> so, I came up with this great idea. <laughs> no, I mean, like, in my actual character, I just had a thought. Maybe we can just get him to, you know... Well, us across the water. Well, across the water, you know, just go. <laughs> Whatever. Voice. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's just me uh, slipping into my real character. Then back to Vera. Ah, oh, it's okay. Uh, yeah. I'll have to row you across the water. Oh, thank you. That oh crap! Everything froze. That was amazing. I don't think your spoon is going to help motion, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Just putting it out there. It's a thought. I'll moor my raft up so you can board and take a beer happily. Now, uh, uh, Una's really seasick. Just stepping on this raft makes her want to vomit. Oh, she's got vertigo. Oh yeah, really bad sea sickness. You know, the sea's really <laughs> alien. I'll hand you a bucket. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> My dear, I think I have some herbs to help with your sea sickness. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, trifle berry, that should work. Here you go. Uh, Just eat it. You can chew it while we're uh, across. That should help. You like give it to uh... her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, dear. <laughs> I, I feel like I would look at these berries because I don't fully trust Vera at the moment. Sniff <laughs> them. Maybe squish one and sort of taste it and then eat one. You know, dear, if you don't, I will eat it. My, I'll have one myself because I myself would get sick to see sickness. I'm getting older, so she puts it in her mouth and starts chewing. Nothing happened. I'm still alive, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I eat the berries, and um, I feel a little bit better, but still wobbly. Yes, I mean it helps a little bit, but it should be enough to just get you across the river. So now, and I'm still trying. So is everyone safely aboard? I like that. Look at that. We got ourselves a uh, a watery transport. Sweet. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna head further north up into the Virgin River here. Let's start revealing some of the terrain around us. Ta-da! The river continues. It is a piece of the puzzle! Yes, indeed. <laughs> Probably 
reveal more of this on the side. Yep, you can see how the gorge comes up. Got some tall mountains on both oh, wow. sides of us here. Oh, nice blacked out area there in the middle for some reason. There we go. And up ahead, a bridge. Just a few miles upstream. This is a dangerous area, Rubido is well aware, as we are coming up on a place known as Blood Gorge. And it is uh, not given that name lightly. There are apparently numerous orcs, goblins, hobgoblins, and ogres and the like that make their home in the Blood Gorge just past this bridge. Unfortunately, by water, it is the only way to proceed forward. Uh, sometimes you've had issues here, other times you've made it through quite smoothly, but uh, of the journey between here and there, this is definitely the most dangerous part. Okay, right. Uh, or should, should, should we roll perception checks? Because I figure we'd all be quite alert because we're in an uncomfortable situation with a stranger that's or a shifter that's sort of bare with fleas jumping off his fur, who's drunk. Maybe we should, you know, be on our lookout. Uh, yeah, I agree. especially since we, like, went straight past all the other ships that we were supposed to yell out to. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's just driven us past all these ships. He's, like, gone around us, <laughs> all of them. Yeah, and so now something we're, like, sick. stuck in this boat, just like, Okay, well, well that's suspicious. <laughs> I'm Someone not. Has yeah, yeah. Just the surroundings properly. Give him a good poke. Whack him on the head. <laughs> right. I, I, I look at I look at Vera and I go, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that was needed because we don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you fool! You fool! You absolute fool! There's all these <laughs> six thousand, eight thousand gold piece luxury yachts that he's just like steering you through on his rickety little one paddle <laughs> or one oar boat <laughs> it's all right it's yes yes boat. ladies D blood gulch that's where you wish to go i'll take you across for a gold piece right I, i'm gonna roll a perception check then yes let's get that from everybody but, but... Oh shit, what dice? I can't remember what dice. The d20. Alright, d20. Shit. <coughs> what I get. I got a 1. Oh no! Um, yeah, on my d20 I got a 1. Well, it's at this point that uh, Vera remembers later on that she can't really see much of anything when she's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just dozing off. Just having her right. knees. I just want nap. <laughs> and just nap in a way. Natural 20 for Elise there. And how about Chloe? Nice. One, one. 11. An 11 and a 9 <laughs> from Ruby Doe. Natural 20. Let's just check our encounter chart here. Hmm. Well, okay. That's... That'll work. And let's open up another section of the map here. Hey, question. On the live stream there, is the video cutting in and out, or is that just on my side? Let me know, please, and thank you. Opening up the Blood Gorge area. Ooh, blood. Oh, I love the sound of blood. In addition to... I look at Vera. <laughs> it is conking. Slightly enough. concerning. Very strange. Makes me youthful. Hmm. hmm. That's unfortunate. It should not be doing that, but uh, whatever. Actually, I wonder if 
go ahead and keep on uh, role playing as we're passing through here. So okay. far, yeah. all is well. Nothing is coming out to attack you. So uh, that's good news. I'm well, just I napping think... the entire time. You're napping? Okay, I was going to ask you a napping. couple of questions. Ask it. Oh, you can wake me up and say, Vera. Vera. Just like, wake me up. Yes. Gosh, you just, you seem quite wise and like I, for some reason I feel this connection to you and I don't know what it is. Like I just, I, I don't know if it's your crazy, but I feel like I know you from somewhere. It's really strange. Like what, really? where, where did you come from again? Like what's, what was your background? Like. Oh, um, many years I was born into a coven. And something really tragic happened on my part. I was put for treason for something I never did. I was exiled and, you know, my own ever since. Oh man. That's all I'm giving I'm you. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, it was a long time ago, they're all dead. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really care. No. I don't care. Well... They can all go suck the salmon. I don't care. I'm, wow. I'm gonna, you, yeah, so, bear person. Yes. What's your bear name? Bear person. <laughs> name, Taylor. What's your name? Taylor, that's a little on the nose, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, might be, but it's as good as any. I'm Una, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, do you want a beer? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Vera wants a beer. Where? You don't want to know. Mm -hmm. Vera, don't drink the beer. Why? <laughs> well, I'm gonna pass Vera the beer. <laughs> She's gonna skull it down. Skull <laughs> <laughs> it! I feel light as and then she falls back to sleep. And then she goes to sleep. <laughs> good beer. <laughs> oh, I love Something was so in the much. beer. He's probably sick of it, but like, I'm gonna let the old lady sleep. I'm sick of her. I, uh, I, I, sni I sniff it, and then I'm just like, I continue to watch the, uh, the mountains and, you know, try to see what else is going on out, out, out there. Seeing the bridge we're heading towards. Aren't the colours beautiful, though? You know, the water. It's kind of that turquoisey green and the mountains with the oranges and the okras and the yellows. It's gorgeous. Love it. That's awesome. That's what you hear. <laughs> I, I, I wonder what the temperature is outside. What season is it, do you guys think? Spring? It's uh, late spring coming up on summer, so it's cool mornings, and then it does start to get pretty warm by 9, 10 a.m. Oh, sweatness. Lovely. Gotta love it. <laughs> Scorching sun. <laughs> Are we, yeah, are we to totally at ease? Because our captain is kind of drunk. So even though he knows this this area of the river, and he might or might not be unsure of it, but are we totally at ease? And how fast is the water moving? How fast is the raft moving? Fortunately, right now, it's uh, pretty slow going for the river because you are paddling upstream against the current. So it's not too strenuous. Right now, it is just slower progress than uh, usual, I guess. And right now, everything seems to be pretty quiet. No sign of anything. But that silence is quickly broken by the sounds of gunfire. And lots of oh. them. Like, we're talking an army. 100 oh, plus... Geez. 100 plus guns and it all sounds like it's coming from the left side of the river over here near this 
Uh, this lawless settlement known as Ramad, where you can find a lot of interesting folks. If Blood Gorge is a haven for orcs, goblins, and ogres, and all of those types, they are in equal numbers at Ramad, in addition to all kinds of other unsavory folk, the likes of uh, which most people don't care to associate with. Uh, I like wake up like. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like freaking out. Fortunately, the gunfire is not aimed in your direction, and you do not find yourselves pierced through with dozens of bullets. Instead, we're I'll... dead. That's done. That's the whole game. <laughs> Good game, y'all. Take care. See you okay. next time. Bye. Best DM ever. <laughs> I say. <laughs> Here, should we be concerned about that? That's nah, pretty normal. <laughs> That's normal? <laughs> yeah. Are we going to be okay? Do we need to... No, we'll be fine. But we're going slow. Yeah, but it'll all be good. Can I whack him on the head again? <laughs> okay, how well, close are we to the I say sure. it's all going to be good, you notice that I put my dagger a bit closer to hand. And then I grab my dagger because that's concerning to me. <laughs> I'm just going to go up to you, Chloe, and wish that. I'm just like... <laughs> whacking the fly away from my Vera. face. Vera. Where's your spoon, Vera? Bring out the spoon. Oh, Mavis! It's in my... Mavis, where's my spoon? <laughs> Mavis, where's my spoon? <laughs> Suddenly, somebody across the river is wielding one of these things, and you're like, where the heck are... Oh, just kidding. Um, nah. <laughs> fortunately, the gunfire is know? not aimed at your direction. Instead, it appears to be an independent militia of uh, probably just as bad folk as the good people who live in Ramad. Coming from the southwest over here where I am kinging, so it's on the opposite side of this civilization from where you are on the river right over here, you can just make out this force of gunslingers basically invading the town. And the town is rising up in arms in attempt to defend itself. So you are pretty close to some uh, heinous action here, but fortunately none of it for the time being seems to involve any of you. Right. Right then. Honestly, don't know what to do. What do we do? do? <laughs> what do we need? I'm old! I'm an old hag, what am I supposed to do? Do we carry on? I think, personally, it may be wise to skirt along the other side of the shore as quietly as possible. That sounds that good. Safe? Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, giving a death stare, like, I don't trust you. Uh, yeah, um, we... I wish we I'm chose... I'm just sitting there giving him the death stare the entire time, like... Mm. Uh, you can trust me. Here. I want to save my own fur. With that okay, being so... the plan, let's roll stealth checks since we are heading to the opposite shore and trying to move around as quietly as possible as we are right next to the bloodiest part of the gorge. I mean, you can see it. It's like written on the side of the, the chasm itself here. An 8, a yep. 13... Is that the D20 that we roll, or is it a different one? It is. The D20 plus your okay. stealth results. Alright. 18. Woo! I got a four. Very stealthy. A four. Stealthy Dragonborn. So, Vera's having an argument with Mavis as uh, the rest of you are trying to creep as ever so quietly through the bushes here. Shh! Be quiet! No, Mavis! You be quiet! Shut up! <laughs> I just want you shut up. Shut up! I will kill you again with my spoon. Shut up! I'm just gonna annoy the hell out so of you. So are we on? Are we on shore now? 
Did we go to shore, Rubido, or are we just trying to be yeah, as like, stealthy as possible right up there? Trying to be stealthy oh. along the shoreline, still in the raft. Gotcha. It's so, all righty. Try that once more. Because you know that if we get got online, oh, online, on the land, <laughs> if we got on the land, then we'd be fudged because of the name. <laughs> Oh Can't boy! Here they come. Oh no! Well, you're trying your best to be quiet, you. but uh, somebody who shall remain nameless is uh, blowing your cover here, and there is a loud uh, Tuscan raider-like roar coming from the wall of the canyon there behind you, <laughs> and all of a sudden, a large stone is flung in your direction almost as if a catapult launched this thing and fortunately it. the aim is rather poor as it splashes into the water maybe a hundred feet gonna, from uh, you <laughs> I'm just going to lie did anybody just see a stone get thrown at us or was that just me no, what no, no, I, saw it now, just... I, I saw it as well and um I'm like, oh no! We need to do something! We need to hide! Let's go! We definitely can't hide in this raft. I think we need to get out. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I, I think the raft is moving slow. We could make more ground on foot. I think we should probably pull to yeah. the shoreline as well. Yes, I agree. Right. Maybe it doesn't think so, but we shall do it. We're just going to go we towards the thing run. that threw a rock at us. <laughs> I think going The logic is all wrong, but let's go! We need to hide! Where? Where can we hide? I don't see anything. Do we have any caves? There might be caves. Uh, there might be something in the caves, though. Knowing the name. <laughs> Seems like that's where oh, the God. attack in general came from. Oh, shit. Yeah. I just, I just think the raft is moving but slow. We can make more ground on foot. Right. Do we we're going want to, and we're not sitting duck. Do we want to take Maybe the raft story. with us on foot, or are we just abandoning it on the shoreline and hustling as fast as we can? It's made of sticks. I think we abandon we need it on a, the shoreline. We need a ship. And always make another. Okay. Okay. We need a ship. That's what. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. We really, we need a ship. <laughs> I'm too old for this. <laughs> I like grab Vera and I like drag her along and she's just, just like not not moving. <laughs> Come on, Vera. Me, you heathen. <laughs> wow. Man, my dice oh, right. are just cursed tonight. It's because Fringe is hanging out in the Twitch chat. He always curses my freaking dice. That 722. <laughs> No That's good for us. Good. Oh, very good for you, as the ogres that are up here in the Blood Gorge continue to hurl stones, big sticks, whatever it is that they've managed to acquire that they consider weaponry, and none of it comes really anywhere close. Maybe 50, 60 feet away, enough to kind of cause a little, oh, that was close, but otherwise <laughs> it's a uh, rather uneventful passage through here, but definitely... Hustling on foot seems to have gained you uh, some ground here. Cool. We're alive! Uh, I'm yes. only 20 now. Um, I ask... Uh, is it... Oh, I've got the... Bear... Sailor. <laughs> Sailor. Okay. Um, you said you m might have known this area... Do you know where we're heading right now? Do you know if there's any safety, uh, uh, a city, something like that, along where we're heading? Can you remember? As I'm starting to sober up, I'm trying to find a memory <laughs> of what is ahead. Like deep it's within your about souls. Having large rocks thrown at you sort of sobers you up slightly. <laughs> and I'll so, whack you in the head again. Of course. 
Of course. <laughs> but I have a special like, but like, I'm whacking, but I have a stone that sobens them up like quickly. Boom. Oh, that should do the trick. The stone of sobering plus one. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Marvels. <laughs> we need to patent that. Yeah. The stone of sobering. Sailor is Isn't pretty it? sure that once you make it through the Blood Gorge here, just on the other side, once the river branches to the right, uh, not too far to Crystal City. So. Uh -huh. Marvelous. How far on foot? Do we need to find a ship, or do you think we'll make it there on foot? It's less than ten miles. You could probably make it by uh, end of the day. Oh, amazing! All right, let's go. We We're going to go for a walk. We'll have a trek through the woods. Well, through the canyon. Is yes. you guys? I'm going to be a bit slow because I'm four foot. I'm tiny. I'm old too. <laughs> oh, you started to pick me up. <laughs> All right. It's like very slowly walking behind. I'm coming. We're going to have our first encounter. Actual encounter here. As we are exiting the Blood Gorge, the ogres were none too capable with their attacks, but they do know their home terrain pretty well. And thus it is that they are able to cut off your escape from the canyon just as you are about to find your presumed safety. There are two of these hideous creatures. Let's get on the board here. Gonna be well out of yeah. It's not that big. It's bigger than the city. Ugh! There's uh our classic ogre. Okay. Handsome fellow. Hideous. <laughs> Shrek's better looking. And there are two of them. As I was saying, and I think what we're going to get here is a map created on the spot to uh, kind of get this encounter underway. I think I have just the thing. It's just going to take a moment to locate it. Out of my hundreds of map packs here. Oh, goodness. Here we go. <laughs> I think this will work just fine for us. Just got to make the map a little larger. 29 by 29. Enable our grid. And voila! We have an encounter map. Let's get you all moved over to here as well. There we are. Of course, we keep losing video anytime I switch to the other map, so just <laughs> juggle, juggle, juggle. It's how it is. Bear with me. All right, that should work out. Perfect. And I think we already have tokens set for our characters here. Yes, we do. Copy all of those over. Maeth, Veracora, Una, and Sailor we did not finish. So I'm gonna do that here real quick. Nope. Yep.
Fantastic. That gets us set up right there. Okay. Let's get some ogres in the playing field. And one thing I like to do just to kind of make things a bit easier in addition to the name tags is monsters have red health bars. So if there get to be oh, too many it. tokens, if there's too many tokens on the, the board at any given time, you can kind of identify your foes by the red, your friends by the green. And let's have each of you roll initiative for your character. There should be, for Chloe and Sarah, a section on your character sheets that just says initiative, so add that to the d20 that you roll. And for Elise and Rubido, your initiative will be found on your digital character sheet here. Uh... Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's right there near the top center, right between your armor class and your speed. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Fifteen. <laughs> Four. My initiative, one. A one. So <laughs> That's my initiative, one. Chloe's got a fifteen. Sarah's got a one. Uh, Sailor got a four. Elise got a thirteen. Okay. Let's see how the ogres do. Hopefully they get a minus yeah. one. A five. Well, they're going pretty low, but uh, yeah. still before two of you. All right, set that up. Bust. Everybody can see the turn order. Uh, we'll just set that right there. Get our videos back hopefully yes indeed and chloe you've got the top turn in the initiative here i know some of us are a bit new to 5e some of us are coming back to it after a while so we'll just break this down uh piece by piece until we're all a little bit more comfortable unless uh you feel expert and ready to just take off uh possibly <laughs> Well, uh, am I so, so being in obviously ogres are trying. I feel like they're trying to attack straight away. Am I in, um, my instinct kind of kicks in, um, and you know, I completely lost my memory, so I don't know where this all comes from. So straight away, I go in. Um, uh, I'm just trying to figure out whether I want to... Do we have an, a move and an attack? Correct. You have a move action and attack, or you have a move action, an action, and a bonus action each turn. Okay. All right. Not everybody uh, has something they can do with their bonus action. It's kind of hit or miss, but everybody typically has action or move. Alrighty. Uh, I'm... I'm gonna straight away actually pull out. I have a first level spell. It's called Thunder Wave, um, and I know what it does if I say it here. Um, if I can use it, so move closer to the first uh, ogre, and it says, "Oh, well, I'm sure. Do you know? I'm assuming. Can I use Thunder Wave? Do you know if I can? I yeah? I'm thinking so. I've got the. Yep, I've got it right here in the chat log for roll 20 here. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, each cool. creature, 15 Easy. foot cube, makes a con save. Um, you would need to get um, closer to them, because I believe it just, it's like, pfft, comes right out from you, as opposed to being like, I throw it over there. Okay, cool. Well, then I immediately, like, my instinct just kicks in, and I'm, I'm running over, and I fucking, I thunder wave the first ogre. I'm like, bitch. Very cool. So go ahead and... Don't know where it... You should be able to move your token with your arrow keys. 
right over towards uh, this guy. This one is you. So if I... Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> how far? <laughs> Just... I don't know how far. I go, like, right oh. next to him or something? Yeah. How far to go? Each one of these squares is uh, represents five feet. If you use the ruler tool on the side of the roll 20 there, you can kind of see all the different measurements. Oh, uh, yeah. And That's then, cool. Okay. This is definitely uh, an advanced feature right here. Uh, definitely no need to have it ready just yet, but I'll use your token as an example, Chloe. If you yep. grab it with the left clicker, of course it'll ping while you're selecting it, and then just move it with your mouse. Use the right clicker every so often to kind of mark different points of movement. And then when you're done, release the left clicker and then watch what happens. Oh, oh shit. So it shows everybody exactly how many feet you moved. And if I have something on a secret layer that's like a pit trap or something, and you step on that square, it'll automatically trigger into the, the chat log there. But for most cases, oh my gosh, stuff like this, just moving your token with the arrow keys, this works just fine. There's no need for the advanced feature, but if, as you get more familiar with it, it's pretty cool. Now for the right. ogre, we're looking at a constitution save. I don't like the looks of this. Uh, yes, putting up the game master screen. Okay, we are looking at, uh, you're gonna need two eight-sided dice there for your thunder damage. Okay. Mm. All right, so I will roll the eight-sided dice twice. Cool. So I got a three and a two, five. Five damage, pretty good. And you should be able to see the red health bar on these things go down a little bit, so that gives you an indication as to just how much they've been injured. And then I look back and I'm like, guys, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Like, can anybody just see what happened? I don't even know what's going. What the? What the? What the hell? That's pretty badass. <laughs> wow, did I think Sarah, I'm... Did Sarah put an echo filter on her voice? Because all of a sudden she sounds Sorry. like she's in an echo chamber. It's like, whoa! <laughs> I mean, yeah, it does! Space, that's fine. Oh, it does sound like that. <laughs> It wasn't like that before. <laughs> no lightsaber goes up. Was it? I, uh, it I didn't like do anything. I'm just in a big open space. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Yeah, I didn't do anything. <laughs> We're all just like, how the fuck did she do that? I'm actually really, I actually don't know what you guys are doing. That's you just crazy. you just scare the ogre. <laughs> you just scare the ogres away with your fucking voice. So uh Did I? Oh you're good, you're good. Uh Una, it is your turn. Right, I can see there's a tree, a, a scrubby tree in front of me. It doesn't appear to be very dense. And I'm wondering if I can move towards the edge of the tree and then shoot at the ogre with my bow and arrow while trying to stay somewhat hidden. Yeah, absolutely. If nice. you're not a rogue, you won't have a stealth check to roll necessarily in addition to your attack. It's one or the other unless you're a rogue. But anybody oh, anybody can like <laughs> take a knee behind some cover and you won't necessarily be hidden but you will be harder to hit that's what i want to do i'm a ranger so um Perfect. i don't have to self check but i'd like to maybe move 10 foot and then 
shoot at the ogre with my arrows. I like it. The same one Mace um, attacked. Very cool. So I, I, I get down on one knee and I target the ogre. Um, so so what do I do? Do I click uh, my longbow or? Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. Click that longbow and it should factor in all the numbers for you. Yep. A 13 to hit. Um, let me check your character sheet. For some reason it did not roll your damage. You're going to see your character sheet jumping around here. That's just me. I think I know what I'm doing by now. There, there it is. Roll damage and crit. And I don't know if I mentioned this last week, but one reason, the reason it always rolls two numbers for you is just in case after the fact, somebody realizes, oh, you should have had advantage on that roll, which means you take the higher of the two d20s. Or you should have had disadvantage on that roll, which means you take the lower of the two d20s. In this case, since we're always rolling two at a time, it just makes it, it cuts, it's a time saver. Yeah. Um, try that again, Elise. Up arrow from the chat log and hit enter, and let's see if it populates differently this time. Hmm, maybe not. Try clicking the longbow on your character sheet itself. That's what I did the first time. Should I click the, the damage rather than the name of the bow? Uh, no, I fixed something on your character sheet here. You probably just have to click it. The, there you go, perfect. So now it's rolling the attack and the damage at the same time. Ogre's armor class is an 11. So your original attack of 13 hits will take the seven damage you rolled and apply it to that. And just like that, this ogre is already looking pretty jacked up. And I'm like... <laughs> High five, guys! <laughs> uh -huh. Not right now, we're in battle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still playing with them. Well, these so ogres... Five. <laughs> these ogres are mess. So, five five. <laughs> yeah, you done made oh, no. these things mad. <laughs> I think... Oh, shit. This one here is going to throw a javelin at... Hmm, do we target her with the cover? Or do we target her out in the Me. open? Fuck. <laughs> Can I, I run. <laughs> I run. <laughs> not known to be the most intelligent. Me choosing... Lady in bush. Oh. <laughs> he tosses his javelin... <laughs> Which, uh, Lisa, had you not taken cover, the 14 would have hit your armor class. But because you have cover plus 2, uh, armor class is a 16, and the ogre's javelin just basically gets stuck in the thick, thorny bush here in front of you. And this ogre roars in protest at its complete ineptitude. Uh, you swear you hear this one laughing at the misfortune <laughs> of this That's one. That's crazy. And 35 feet Oh Jesus! this one rushes in. How did it end Real close. Up? Can I? I want to run away. Can I? <laughs> What's happening here? I wish to run behind a bush. <laughs> Very close. There we go. That's terrible. Okay, Ogre oh, that's terrifying. will try its Great Club attack on Amaeth standing out here in the open. No. And it didn't roll my... Can I do a defense or anything? Um, you have I guess that's my a... own class, isn't it? Exactly. What you can do is, if you do want to go defensive on your turn, you can take what is called the dodge action. In effect, forgoing any attack, and then any of my attacks against you would have disadvantage. To kind of simulate okay. you ducking and weaving. Alright. 
Considering and... you're very, very close. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's yeah. very close. That's really terrifying close. Oh, yeah. It's That's terrifyingly right, close, though. Right up in it's your right face. Up, it's right up the face. I'm and... just, I just stare at it. I'm just like, just... you don't scare me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, come at me, bro. No, <laughs> I'm a bro. Smell it from here. Oh, you bro, your breath smells so bad. Did you even? Did you brush today? Because, oh, oh, my goodness. Look at these pearly ones. <laughs> Just making yeah, them mad. <laughs> <laughs> it is a mighty swing with the great club and. Uh, yes, accompanied by all the foul stenches that the ogre provides from being right up next to it. And the great club swings right over Amayeth, Sailor, and Una's heads as these uh, is just a complete whoosh of an attack. And Sailor is right there up next to it to take a response as your first turn comes up. As he swung and missed, I'm going to try and sneak behind him. And... Whack him on the head. Wow, uh, that's kind of it. I'm going to go in and try and stab from behind with my rapier. And a sneak attack, I think. Oh, yeah. Yes! Nice. Got it completely surrounded. Oh. You're going to have advantage on your attack, so we'll take the higher of your dice rolls. So, do I roll the rapier and sneak attack, or...? Correct. Yeah, roll your uh, your rapier attack there, and let's see what you get. Oh! Looks like it's not set up on your sheet, either. So, let me fix this real quick, and we'll have you redo that. All right, try that attack again, buddy. Okay. Yes! A 20 to hit. That runner. <laughs> and that Aye. is uh, some damage taken off. And then for level one sneak attack, you're looking at a die six in addition to that. You can either copy paste what I just typed there or yep you got that right there you already got a block build for it so two extra points ow and this one is starting to get stabbed up pretty nicely oh my god and Fear it, anything else for you there uh, Ruby Doe uh, uh. do I have an extra action Move. Uh, not until... Actually, rogues, I don't know that they ever get a second attack because they get the sneak attack, but usually like level 5 or level 6. Okay, so no, then that is pretty much me. Alright, and Sarah, that's going to pass it over to you. I just gotta use your spoon. Vera, bring out your spoon. I'll bring out my spoon! Um, but I'm like. So I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm actually a rogue. I'm a sickly a rogue. So. Oh god, I don't know what to do. Maybe, because since you guys are fighting, I'm slightly changed back into my half elf for a little bit. So Throw one of my daggers. Can I do that? To try and do something? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, I might just do that. I'm a rogue. So, yeah. So, I see. Like, is it coming at? Like, what's the ogre? Does it see me? Or. It's pretty, it's pretty stupid. Right, it's probably aware Pretty that dumb. you're around, but right now it's uh, it's definitely got bigger problems. <laughs> bigger problems, yeah. What about the so yeah, the other one as well. Um, 
So, yeah, so I'm just going to secretly change my half elf, half elf form for a little bit. And since you guys are fighting, you don't see this at all. And I grab both of them and I just tuck it like, like who's fighting. And I can probably try and see if I can try and chuck one of my daggers at its heart, probably. And probably chuck the other one at the other one, like at the heart. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna... Are you gonna go for both at the same time? Probably, yeah. That's nuts, that's can... cool. Yeah, so I'm just gonna chuck the first one and just see. Right, and I'm talking to myself, right, I've got this, I've got this. <laughs> see that one? Slightly turning to the left. Right, let's see, and then I chuck it. And then, does it, like, I'm trying to, hopefully it hits its heart. Gotcha. It's gonna and have a. Uh, the first one. Sure. It'll have a higher defense against a uh, specific targeted area of the body, but you are in range to toss the dagger. So roll that die twenty plus mm -hmm. your uh, your dagger bonus. All right. Here we go. Twenty plus three. Twenty-one. All right. I got an eleven plus five. Excellent. And then roll your dagger damage, die four plus uh, modifiers. Hopefully plus and not minus. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> this die sometimes confuses me. Um, that was a two. Plus three. Five damage to the heart. Ouch. That's going to count as double damage right there. And with your bonus action, you can throw a second light weapon by the rules of 5e. So you got a second dagger. This one's a bit farther, yes, so it's a, it's a harder attack, but mm -hmm. you do... Uh, roll the die. Roll two die twenty, and we're gonna take the worst of the two because of the range. All right. So the first roll, I got a one. Second roll, I have a six. So that's seven. One. <laughs> a natural one. One. Yeah. Yikes. Natural one. Um. Yes. <laughs> Lisa, roll a dexterity saving throw for me, if you would, please. Whew! All right. Instinctively, you kind of feel this dagger, like, coming up right behind you, and it might be about to connect right between your shoulder blades. It might have been an accident. Maybe. Thanks, Sarah. Thankfully, you're just like, whoa! What the hell? <laughs> Where did that come from? And I turn around and I look at Vera and just look at her <laughs> with an angry glare. <laughs> Sorry! I'm back on my beautiful mic. I'm doing my best. I'm a fragile old woman. Sorry! <laughs> Next, Sorry. We I got should... it! <laughs> and you gotta do the thumbs up, like, Watch what you're doing <laughs> next time. That's why she had a spoon. I Who gave her those I sharp know. knives? <laughs> You'd be like, where did she get those daggers from? <laughs> yeah, she couldn't hurt herself with the spoon. <laughs> and do you want to keep your position back here or any movement forward for you? I'm just going to stay where I am. All right. So that I don't get too suspicious. Fantastic. So that takes us to the top of the second round of action here. Back to Chloe as a math. Yes. yes. Um, that shot before was really good, and I got him got him real good before. But I do have. He's standing right in front of me. His breath smells, and I'm like, I have daggers. I have I have a club as well. I'm trying to figure out if I just want to like. 
I also have, I've got a spear. A spear him. A spear him in the chest. Very Because cool. he's right in front of me. So I I'm just like going to just grab it, grab, grab it out and like... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get... Just two. like, brush your teeth next time! <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get two die 20 on this one and take the better of the two because you've got the uh, flanking bonus for Sailor being on the other side. Alright, so that's 16. Nice. 18! 18! Oh, even better. Yeah. So go ahead, roll that spear damage. Uh, that's... That's 8. That's 8-sided dice, isn't it? Uh, it's a 6-sider or, or an 8-sider. One of the two. Let me check. Okay. Spear, spear. If I can learn how to type... Here we go. Uh, one die six plus your modifiers. Yep. Uh, ha. Huh. Two. And. What would the modifier be to that one? Spear damage. I don't think I. It would be your uh, dexterity oh, wait. modifier. Since you're throwing it. Oh, dexterity. Or no, you're not throwing it. It'll oh, yeah, yeah. Strength modifier because you're stabbing, my bad. <laughs> oh, well, that's cool. Plus two. So, four. Sweet. <laughs> four All right. So, do some damage. Well, you're chipping away at this thing, and it is starting to look like a pincushion from all the wounds on it. And just so it doesn't hit me again, I'd like to move back to the bush that's back here. <laughs> All right. If I can. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Make it angry for runaway. Nice. And Lisa, that's passing it over to you. Right. Um, the ogre, who's he concentrating on? Is he going back to me or sort of sideways at me? Um, right now it appears to be pretty ticked off at Sailor who stabbed it from behind but also uh, Vera out there in front of it who it's got this dagger stuck in its heart right so what I want to do is I want to kind of run up to him and grab my short sword out and I want to just hack away really heftily at the back of his neck just a big whoosh Oof. All right. Oh, we lost Chloe there. Right now, it's just the top of uh, it's the top of our heads. Oh, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Back. Welcome back. Well, I'm just going to probably move out of the way. I'm going to secretly move. Might do that. So do I? I roll I my short sword. Uh, for your attack, yeah, if you're doing the uh, melee attack, roll the perfect, and you would have advantage due to flank. So a solid stab there for, ow, nine damage. Look at that hit point bar drop. Woof. Try and get in a little closer on the action here. There we go, that looks better. And anything else for you there, Lisa? Any movements? I'm going to put myself between Amea and the ogre, because I feel like Vera is far enough away that she's I'm behind safe. Right now. And if I kind of put myself <laughs> there, I can protect them. I'm hiding still. <laughs> I'm pretty safe. <laughs> I'm, I just secretly hid behind a rock. I secretly moved out of the way. <laughs> You'll be right in the open if you're in front of me. This ogre is trying its best. It obviously uh, seems intent on pushing forward either towards Amaeth or Vera but Ooh. because you have interposed yourself here it instead tries to take an attack at Una 
and attack with the javelin which is also no good and at this point in a panic this ogre is just gonna try to run away and that's well, going gone. to prompt from both of you here an attack of opportunity you can use your reaction to take a free melee attack on it since it is basically turning its back to you and hightailing it. I'm going to throw my dagger at it then. All <laughs> right. Another dagger. That is a is hit. Ouch. I will do the same. All right. Oh, natural 20 from Sailor, and he claims first blood. That is a dead ogre. He's obviously more sober now. Yeah. <laughs> Sobered up. I think it's starting to help a little bit. <laughs> and with that being the case... The remaining ogre, well, that's a two on its morale check. It is already about half wounded. Uh, yeah, Sailor's already used his reaction to kill that ogre, so I'm just going to take advantage of that and uh, back my happy self away from here. <laughs> Ready for He's a running. refill? <laughs> All right. Um. If only you retreat, have <laughs> And it's going to continue to push back here further into the relative safety of the canyon as we pass it back over to Sailor. What are you going to do? I've got to see how far I can get. I'm going to pursue. All right. Go get it! And why are you going to go And as I run after it, as it seems to be cowering in the corner, I'm going to target the back of his legs with my rapier. Alright. See if we can slow him down. Ouch! Oh. Off his legs. Ouch. Ah, might have been a double click. Accidentally. That is a successful strike right through the back of the leg, and this ogre howls in pain. And yeah, it doesn't have uh doesn't have much left, it would seem. And I think that is me, as it stands. Okay. We'll pan it back over to the east here, where, uh, at the moment, there is a, fortunately, a large wall of rock between Vera and the foe. Right. Um, hmm. What is Vera going to do? Um... I don't know, actually. I might go help the sailor in my half-elf form. Like, hmm. Yeah, I might just do that. All right. Because he probably looks like he needs some help. So you're, you're changing from your granny form? Yep, I'm simply changing from my granny form again. To and since we... you all see that, yeah. What are you gonna say? Yeah. So we, d we see you. We see you change. Uh, um, I think one of you is, might see me change. Or I mean, like... I don't know. Who, yeah, I think one of you is, like see me change into my old. What the hell was that? Like you're imagining things was about me. <laughs> You're going to have yeah, to run no. past both of us. Yeah. So I'm like behind the rock, I change to my half-elf, and I'm just running, 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 like really fast. 
since I'm half elf, then I see Sailor and I'm like in my elf form. Hi, you look like you need some help. Are you alright? And I, I, I was I, like, I, I, who is that? Where, where did she come from? <laughs> who is that? Is that Vera? Who on earth? <laughs> Vera? Vera is an old woman! <laughs> this elf has just come out of nowhere. Ah, and I see the elf come out of nowhere next to the ogre. And doesn't really Start bother attacking me as long as you can stab it. <laughs> yes, I can help you stab it. I have a long... I saw you guys trying to cut them down and... ...with it. I think if we can take the other leg out, he's done. Yes, I completely agree. Right, so what's the plan? I'd say take the other leg out. <laughs> kneecap that bugger. <laughs> Maybe we can both like hit one and like see if it crushes down his knees. We can probably do that. Yeah, he's already given it a good stab up through the one leg. Yeah, maybe one more ought to put it on its knees at least. So I grab my long sword, and which leg was he? Which leg is injured the most? The right leg. Okay, so I got my long sword, and I'm just having it going pew, straight through his um the back. Like through his shins. Ouch. His left shin. Alright, roll that attack. Die 20 plus your long sword. Alright, I have a 19 plus a 5. Wow, okay. Woo! What's the no, damage? He's dead. <laughs> Your dead elk. Oh, actually, it was not a long sword. Sorry, it's, it's a short sword, not a long sword. I kind of read it wrong. Ah, no worries. With my short sword. It's a stab instead of a swipe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm mean, going to stab with it. Like, you can, like, swipe with a short sword because since I'm a <laughs> strength, I'm like, oh, on my knees, flagging. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, roll your damage for that and see what we're looking at. Which one is the damage one? Uh, for a short sword, should be oh, a okay. D6, I think. Okay, D6. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, so it's a D6. Oh, and I got a 6. Wow, max Woo! damage. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's not been a good day for He's the dead. ogres. No, no, no. They were not so good at attacking you from afar, and their attempts to ambush you from uh, up close, likewise unsuccessful. And with that, let's say for Robito and Lisa, both of you on your Roll20 character sheets for experience points, enter 300 on that spot and the little red anvil that is next to your class should start pulsing red and that is your indication to level up to level two and for chloe and sarah i'm not sure which uh app you're using for your character but hopefully putting uh 300 in the xp box will achieve a similar effect but uh, in either case, you've all made it to level two now and can go ahead and activate level those upgrades. <laughs> yes! Uh, level... oh, oh, I see it. Right. Oh, oh, I think Chloe's kind of good. Do you, you need me to, to do it? Yeah. yeah. It's about that. Yay! Well done. Level two. Very nice. Go ahead and uh, take a few moments to look through your options and do that. 
I'm going to uh, send us to break here on the stream, and while I do that, I'm not sure if this will help in any respect, but let's all log out of Discord and then log back in and then see if uh, that helps with uh, some of the video and uh, echo issues that we seem to have manifested here. In any case, we'll check you, check you back in a few minutes, all. Yeah, yeah all right. No problem. Should I choose? You roll the hit points and then you just press next. Oh, I think it's my class. Yeah.
I'm kind of a little bit um, nervous because I feel like the girls are so good at this. And... No, no, you mean? Yeah, it's a well, little you've bit. You've at in... least done it once. Yeah, I know. You know? <laughs> I know. I'm just saying it's a little bit intimidating. Yeah. But I think it's something that we will get into the swim off. Because right. I'm having a lot of fun. No, it is fun. Not really sure what I'm doing yet. But... No, I have no idea. Just remember you're like a bear shift mm. thing. I. I've taken speak with the animals. Mm. And um something called beast bond. Yeah. One beast you touch that is friendly to or charmed by you. Establish a telepathic link with one beast you touch. The, be the spell fails if the intelligence of the animal is four higher. Well, hello, everybody. Hi. Hello? Hey, Rubido's hey. just with me. No worries. I'm gonna jump back into it here in a uh, moment once we get everybody back at the table. 
before we're before we go live um yeah. i just want to say sorry if i'm not jumping in and being as role play orientated it's all a little bit overwhelming for me today because you guys are so good and i'm feeling a little bit nervous around around it but um uh, that's all right. thanks for letting me be a part of it i think yeah, everybody's doing amazing well, thank you. Yeah. Well. Well, anyway, I've just taken a skill that allows me to talk to the birds, so you know, woohoo, or oh, animals. Oh, very nice. So now we can have friendly, friendly animals. I like that. You know, happy little birds. I'll be like Snow White when she's got the little blue bird on her fingertip. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, here we go. Hey, uh, Sarah, real quick. Mm -hmm. On your Discord... Um, how did I get here? On your user profile, the bottom left of the screen, you see where your name is and the little gearbox there? Um, my user settings, is that it? Correct. Okay. And then scroll down to voice and video. Oh, and, okay. And then oh. down <laughs> to a noise suppression echo cancellation and see if those are toggled. Okay, it's just lighting up at the moment. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You're living your character right now, aren't you? Oh yes. Oh. Sorry, he's just he's just walked back in with two hot coffees and dubbed his shin against the table. No. And he's now murmuring quietly to himself. Uh. Oh, death of shin bone. Oh, oh, okay, coffee. <laughs> Oh, okay. Is it volume output? Um, let's see here. Volume output. Uh, scroll further down. It should be towards the bottom. Once you see all the toggles. Okay. Yep. Yeah, all right. Just did a cancel. Cancelled. Oh, Does that help me now? Uh, it's coming in a little clearer, and then. Uh, noise suppression, if that's enabled or, I don't know, standard or crisp or whatever. It's on crisp, no Boston. How's that? I like it. Sweet. Hello. We can hear you now. A little bit better. Oh. Hello, man. Sweet. Oh, 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 come back here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come back, Chloe. Did we... What's... I'm 100% now. You're 51. Should we switch phone? Can do it quickly. Right. We'll switch phones. We're just going to switch <laughs> phones for battery. All right. Exactly what the time difference will be, but I'm gonna do a solo stream for a 5e tutorial. Kind of go. Through, that. 
Yeah, go through some of the basic rules and uh, all that good stuff. Well, if we can't watch it live, we'll definitely catch up with it at some point. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll probably have to watch it at some point because I'm working tomorrow. No worries. Sorry, Sorry I'm just eating breakfast. Yum, yum. What you have? Mm -hmm. Fresh croissant. What is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. croissant. croissant. Oh, nice. Delish. A bit of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, unfortunately, I won't be able to do this next Saturday because I'm working. What's that? I won't be able to do this next Saturday, like, for me, because I'm working. Oh, okay. So, probably have to figure out something for Vera. Right. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah. Well, we'll figure something out for sure. Depending on how this ends yeah. tonight, maybe be in contact with you throughout the week and kind of figure out what we should do. Yep. Holy moly, I seem to have acquired a lot of bots here on the Twitch side of things. Good. Hey, bot! Hope you're having a nice day. <laughs> I have five viewers in chat, but like 15 people here. So some of y'all are not real. Welcome back, Chloe. Thank you. Well, let's see uh, how the Twitch looks now. Gameplay. Enabled. Ah, oh, it's still kicking out our videos, but uh, whatever. We'll figure it out. We don't need to be on this map anymore. Anybody get anything cool with their level ups? I got two skills. I took speak with animals because I can imagine Una is very in tune with nature and she loves the birds. And you know, they know a lot of stuff hmm. and beast bond you can establish a telepathic link with one beast you touch whoa it's cool i figured they Very could cool. be handy oh i have a first level spell cool you Which should have I think you should have four of them. The what? It's it Stop should have four. Plus four, plus four. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Plus four. Thank you. Ooh. Or two of them. Mm -hmm. Hi. There's four. Yeah. I, well, I, ha now. I haven't had time to choose all the spells, so not too much. I do, however. Um. So I clicked, there was two um, things to click, it was like either Druid or I think, and the multi-class said uh, Barbarian, so it's now Druid Barbarian, so I have the Rage, which is kind of great. Oh. Plus two Rage. I can imagine that. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's like, we saw it comes from the anger it's losing your memories, and you've just got this Rage. <laughs> I have this you know, Rage really now funny. to find. It was really what? funny, we saw the new Dungeons and Dragons movie yesterday and Chloe was watching it and the barbarian Chloe, like, I'm the barbarian in the movie. I'll like, say, yeah, you are. Yeah, she played yeah. a very yes. good barbarian. And uh, that, might be, Rodriguez, yeah. that might be my new favorite Michelle Rodriguez role. That's my favorite Chris Pine role. He was born to play the bard. Oh, yeah. yeah, 100%. 100%. I can't wait to call my little brother to see that. The failed concentration check when he's playing. <laughs> oh my god! I'm cracking up laughing, and my wife is just like, What's happening here? And I'm just like, Oh, he botched his concentration roll big time. <laughs> yep. 
kind of saw a walk up that damn dragon as well. <laughs> yeah, the big fat oh, dragon. Oh, that was so <laughs> And it was. I such... loved. I loved. I loved the perceptions. Every time I saw the perceptions come up, I'm like, perception check, perception check. <laughs> yeah, she gets very like, perception check. I'm like, perception check. <laughs> <laughs> or when they cast so the, the speak with did. How come you can only ask five questions? It seems kind of arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. Yeah, there was, was a lot of. Yeah. Oh. A lot of little Easter eggs yeah, and inside fun. jokes that really made it uh, yeah. a lot of fun. And so simple in yeah. its execution, but that opening scene. Jonathan! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the that. At the very end, the same thing happens again. Jonathan! <laughs> it's like a running gag. gag. It must have been a running gag. Poor oh, Jonathan. Go <laughs> say something. Yep. Good times, good times. We don't want to spoil it too much. Oh, for sure. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'll, uh, I'll type in uh, D&D movie spoiler on the uh, the tag here. <laughs> so this will represent our new uh, party token here. I had it hidden in the uh, hidden section of the map, so in case you didn't know where you were, now you do. Okay. No. Oh my goodness gracious. As we continue to make our way out of the Blood Gorge after our encounter with the Ogres, mm -hmm. we have another encounter. Hopefully uh, not as violent or bloody, at least on my side. I don't know if I can take any more tonight. I've been getting beat up all day between the Friday, between the Enemy game before this and this game. Oof. This. I feel like we have another issue as well. <clears throat> There's another issue here. There is a random character that has walked in that is not the old lady that we saw before. I feel like we need to address this. <laughs> um, <laughs> there is some, there's a random elf here and we need to address who she is because she's just come out of nowhere in I'm this there blood gorge. Blood, blood gorge. So I'm oh, gonna yeah, walk up to this, this elf woman lady and <laughs> kind of just be like, Hello? Um, <laughs> where did you come from? I mean, first of all, thank you for helping us. Um, but yeah, where did you come from? And I'm also kind of <laughs> looking around, like, I don't see Vera, but I see this woman. She's <laughs> been but very confused. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit suspicious. Oh, um, <laughs> yes, hello, my name is Zal, and I'm not gonna say my full name, just the first part. I'm Zal, and I was just wandering around, traveling to go visit family I haven't seen in a long time, and I noticed these two ogres attacking you for some reason, and I thought maybe you needed some help. So I helped out. And now, since they're dead, I'll be on my way. Oh, well, thank you for helping us out. <laughs> Are you heading to? Have a nice day. Uh, are you heading to Crystal City too? No, I'm heading in the. I'm heading in the other direction, unfortunately. Then how come you were coming this direction? <laughs> Just I'm getting more else. suspicious. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I get really yeah. suspicious because you'd have to be coming this way to see us into the gorge. So mm. I'm just, I'm just really curious, you know. And I, I'd get like. Like almost dagger ready. I'm just I'm really yeah. sus about this character. Yeah. And I'm just like, like, it's, it's really strange. Yes. Um. I as I said, I was just walking past. Um. And I was just walking past, and it looked like he needed some help. I was in the other direction, and the motion walked. To the cliff, saw the commotion, helped out, and now I'll just go and be on my way. Alright, and I put my dagger back, and I'm just like, alright, now we need to find Vera. <laughs> Thanks for your, yes. all for your help. I still, I'm, I kind of look at her just like a little bit longer, just to be like, her, just watching you, kind of seeing if you just walk away, just kind of watching you. Now I look around, and, and I'm just like, like alright. Yeah. Vera! And I'm just walking 
And I'm just walking and then I, I go hey. to my, I hide. You see me go past the rock. Like, you don't see me past the rock. Into, I, slip in, I walk, slip into the shadows, and then I'm secretly going past the rock, shift back into the mirror, and I walk around the rock like, Yes, I'm here. I'm here. What happened? Something. Oh, a small rock hit me on the head, and I kind of dropped. What happened? Oh, you yeah. Oh, Vera. It's a beat. <laughs> Um, I, are you okay, Vera? I go over and I just help her up because she looked like she's stumbling after being hit on the head with a rock. You okay? I think so. I don't know about my head, but I'm pretty sure I'm all right. What happened to her ogres? Uh, there, there was this strange elf. She's gone now. You just missed her. She really? came in happy, though. Saved our bacon. Well, whoever she is, thank you very much. Was she good? <laughs> she sings it. How's that sailor? Well, she did say that. Oh, good here. I oh, think he's alive. Oh. Dealing with a bit of a hangover and sat quite happily over going through my pack looking for to see if I have any extra beer left. You don't. No. You have no you beer. Don't. <laughs> I stole Damn. it. No. <laughs> beer I took it. I need some sips. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Now we have everybody. Yes. Amazing. Vera is here. Peace. Beautiful. Glad that you survived. Those All right. Mavis is here. Oh, good. I'm glad she's she's good. (laughs) All right. I feel like we don't have far to go, and we should probably um, head off there quite quickly because we don't. Yeah, we don't want the ogres to come back, bite us in the butt. So let's go. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for the follow there, Babu seventy nine. Much appreciated. Are you with us? And our group proceeds out of the Blood Gorge, where hopefully we have uh, left all of this danger behind for the time being. And let's just get a glimpse of what's up ahead. This is actually going to open up quite a bit of real estate. Hey, look at that! We can see Crystal City! It's we can see Crystal right City. There. It's right in our glass. Very, very close. We do have one thing here between Crystal City and ourselves. And this is a small shoreside campsite. It is a uh, pre-constructed, obviously has been used by many a passerby over the years. Today, this campsite is occupied by only one person at the time being. As you're approaching Crystal City, the sun is starting to set. You're not sure if you'll make it to the city itself before nightfall officially. So we might be uh, in another campsite situation. And the person who is occupying the campsite for the time being is wearing simple furs and a very large wool cloak to protect against the rapidly dropping temperatures, especially here by the waterfront. I'm going to run up to this person because I feel comfortable with him. He kind of looks like somebody I could approach with ease. And I just say, hi, traveler. Do you mind if we join you? The person turns around and based on the scruff on the face and the deep baritone, you uh, identify this as a human male evening. Welcome to share my fire if you like. That's mighty kind of you. 
We don't have much to offer, but we're glad to take a rest. We've just seen some ogres back there. Nasty fellows. Big teeth, foul breath. They attacked us for no reason as we were coming down the river. Shocking breath. Shocking. Disgusting. You don't Nearly made my friend here pass out <laughs> when he roared in her face. <laughs> Thank you for letting us share your fire. Ma'am. What is your name? Folks call me Logan. <gasps> Logan! So great! We've, We've been looking for you! you. <laughs> that's why, that's why I told him we're coming to it. Ah, the fire. Ooh. That's strange. <laughs> that's strange. Well, you know, oh, no, it's who. I extend my already. hand to Logan. Nice to meet you. Your reputation precedes you. Ah, oh, that's a situation I find myself in more than once. Afraid I don't know any of you, however. I'm Una. Una. I'm Una. Vera. The, the bear that looks like he's got a toothache over there is Sailor. Mayeth and Sailor. All right. Don't y'all have a have a seat here. Tell me what your uh, what it is you're seeking me for. Go sit down, and I sit down next to Logan. Logan, we've heard a great deal about, well, a great small deal about you. <laughs> the thing is, is that I actually woke up about a day or two ago with no memory at whatsoever. I don't remember who I am, where I'm from, and I think it might be the case of wizardry. And I hear that you might be able to help me in this situation, be able to regain my memory again. I'm willing to do anything to regain my memory. I see. Well, whoever it was sent you in my direction definitely knew what they was talking about. There was a halfling called Trevor. He <laughs> runs, I think it was a tavern. Was it a tavern? I don't know. Trevor. Cafe tavern. Mm -hmm. uh, Seemed like a nice guy. Brando City Trail, oh, yeah. That's right. Yes. He's a he's a good halfling, that that little guy. I don't know if he <laughs> uh, told you though. I do uh, I do find work incomparable. Ain't no one like me. Ain't no one ever been like me. I'll do what you need. But uh. I am going to need a favor in return. What's the favor? Seems y'all are pretty capable. You just pass through the Blood Gorge here. Hike along the top of the canyon, past Silver City, up near the Chalcom Range. You'll find an abandoned monster's lair. Well, used to be abandoned. What monsters lived there before? It used to be a dragon slayer. Oh, jeez. Numerous things moved what in there happened? since. What type of dragon used to live in that cave? That's right, they're my ancestors. Seemed to be fun. <laughs> seemed to be a red dragon. We're talking 150, 200 years ago, though. Who knows how many occupants took over that place since then. And what do you need from that? Inside of there, you're gonna find a diamond. And not just any diamond. This diamond... How tall is Vera? She's about four foot seven. He points at Vera and kind of does like an outline of her head. It's about that big. This that is seems like a hefty price. 
Yeah, you recover this for me. You bring it back to me. I'll restore your memory. Really? Why do you want this diamond? It's a good question. I don't, I'm seeing like, don't trust Yeah, I'm done with like, the diamonds, but it's suspicious and a big one. Why the diamond? <laughs> it's a fair a question. Thing. It's a fair question. I don't ask for your trust freely. You know that I have been known to dabble in the arcane arts. This diamond is uh, something that could provide a unique kind of focus for my magics. Focus. It came so much, though. That must be worth a fortune. I'd say it's probably yeah. worth at least 10,000 gold. 10,000? One thing you know about me is I shoot straight. Ain't no deceit, ain't nothing. I'll cure you. I want the diamond. That's my terms. I sit How there and I know? like look at the frames and I ponder a minute. <laughs> we, know, I, we, I'm just like pondering. We only have it on good faith that you can cure her memories. Is there anything you can do to show us that you know you can do what you say? I mean, the word of a halfling, a good halfling, but the word of a halfling is a lot to go on when there's this kind of money involved. He has a point. I'm open to suggestions. I'm afraid we just might be at a uh, bit Good of pass. an impasse as it might be, because what's to stop you from not fulfilling the task I performed the deed beforehand? Is there possibly a way for you to restore a portion of our friend's memory? She, she found a little feeling earlier and came out with this huge, thunderous roar of magic. So there's something there. Maybe you would be helping us fulfill your request by giving us a small portion of herself back. Please, Help each other. Be... It seems to be something Larkin has to use her magic fully, so... If you give me a small part of my memory now, I will, I'm gone. I will go get the crystal and I'll bring it back to you. I and promise. you know, you you must understand that if you get a taste of something that you've been so desperately seeking, the will and the desire will take over to fulfill her, the request. A nod. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Lisa, roll a persuasion check, please. That was good. That was a good idea. Everyone has such amazing ideas. Right. Oh, so good. Let me just get it here. One second. Okay. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Uh -huh. Let's see one as well from Sarah and Chloe, please. Okay. I got a 16. Uh, I got... What are we doing? Deception. Uh, persuasion. <laughs> oh, sorry. Persuasion. Oh, fuck. <laughs> My persuasion is minus one. <laughs> And is... 13. 13. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just waiting. It's not my thing. Do any of your characters harbor any deceit as far as uh, trying to cheat Logan? Likewise, he's uh, trying to read you. I don't. You don't know if he's reading you correctly. Just me asking you to kind of gauge the whole thing. Vera, mm. I feel like that's Vera's. 
she's thinking about it and maybe telling her in between I guess <laughs> still deciding yes it is oh, naughty again <laughs> Indecisive. I'm indecisive at the moment. She's just thinking about that diamond she wants it for herself. I just want my memories back. Maybe I just... Depending on how this persuasion goes. <laughs> yes. We're hey. losing connection. Logan stirs up uh, some stew that he has preparing over the fire and scoops out a bowl full for each of you here. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Take it. It's... Was a time somebody did an experiment on me. Made a what? clone. And this is back when magic worked a little different. This clone came into awareness, and in, in the process, became aware of my existence, and wanted nothing more than to see me dead, because this clone's only purpose was to be the sole Logan. I wasn't as good back then as I as I am now, but I was still pretty damn good. And a clone of me <laughs> got the drop on me pretty pretty well. And it was a good number of years before my own memories were returned to me. And I was finally able to right this wrong. This ain't anything that you pass forward to anybody. You tell this to anybody, and they come back to me with the story. Not only will I deny it, I will find you. And I will make sure that we we see this even. Your secret rests with me. Why are you telling us this? I'll restore your memory. Before the deal is If there's one thing I do have an understanding and a sympathy of, it's not knowing who you are, what you can do, what yesterday was for you. And this task I'm asking of you is not an easy one. So having all your faculties at your disposal will be integral to its success. This is going to be a long process. I suggest y'all get a good night's sleep. And for you there, Amaith, your dreams might be a little awakening, if you know what I mean. When morning time comes, you're going to be a different person. Is it going? And I kind of have like a little tear kind of coming down. I'm just like, I get my memory back. And I, and I like, embrace look. Logan in a big bear hug. Thank you. And I turn to Amanda. Yeah, we got a tear down here. You're right. Is it how does the sadness actually feel? I'm okay, and I'm. Ah. Uh, I'm more than okay. Are you sure? And I also kick Sailor in the shin and say, wake up. He's like, fuck this dude. That was really good. Right? That's doing a lot with a little. Yeah. 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 Logan is obviously uh, not used to physical affection, so the bear hug, he doesn't throw it off. He's just kind of like, oh, we're doing this. Okay. All right. <laughs> and he just kind of looks looks over at, uh, <clears throat> at your character, and he's like, ma'am. Ma'am. 
<laughs> a quick peck on the cheek and say thank you, and then back oh, off. So sweet. <laughs> Sweeter than Vera. Oh yeah. Yeah. Your group. Uh, <laughs> your group got what you need to make this this journey up into the mountains. You think uh, you need to stop in the what city first? What do we need first. to know? What, what would you ad- know? How treacherous is it? Well, you never know what kind of monsters you're going to run into up there, but I would definitely recommend adding some restoratives, some potions, definitely some climbing equipment if you are not already equipped with such. I have rope. Yes, I have rope too. Very good. Mm-hmm. How many of y'all see in the dark? If y'all don't have that universally, I would suggest getting uh, some torches, maybe a lantern if you can swing it. Pretty sure one of us does. I have a torch. I have a torch. Vera, can you see in the dark? No. Uh- no, darling, I don't. My, I, I'm slightly blind. But Mavis can. She's dead. She can see. She's fine. Mavis is my guide in the dark. I can't probably scream at me if something appears. Like she always does. <laughs> Do we like. Maybe. Help us on the journey. I don't. Can see in the dark. I don't see anywhere on mine that I can. I don't think that uh, Dragonborn can, and humans, I don't believe either. And as far as uh, Yuna, let's see. Yeah, same difference there, so. But we will definitely want some torches and. Uh, things in that regard, so we're able to make our way through any potential caves. And, yeah. I do have... I do have ten torches and a tinder pot. Nice. That'll start us off pretty well. Yeah, anybody who's got the standard adventuring kit, explorer's kit, dungeoneer's pack, it's gonna have a lot of that uh, starting adventuring gear in there. Rations, light sources, rope, pythons, etc. I don't think I have it. No. It's also possible during character creation. Oh, I have an explorer's pack! I have an explorer's pack! (laughs) Sweet! We're good. I also have a hunt picking trap. Oh, I turn! Yes! (laughs) <laughs> it was hiding. It was Wait. hiding on that character. It was hiding. I tested it really well. Yeah, I don't want to. Because the other option is that you didn't select uh, the starting gear for your character and you rolled for gold pieces and went through the entire inventory and bought everything piecemeal. That's like playing old school to where it takes two and a half hours to craft your character because 40 minutes is crafting and two hours is shopping. <laughs> Nowadays, it's a lot easier. They're, they just kind of assemble. This is probably what you're going to need with this character. And okay, cool. I'll take that. Mm. And you're good to roll. So even in that respect, uh, do we want to just bypass Crystal City altogether? Or do we still want to stop there and maybe see what's going on before proceeding up the side of the the top side of the gorge here? Do I do you have any healing capabilities? I do. I have cure wounds. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I am also capable of. I have a herbal herbalism kit. Uh, I don't know this though because I don't have any memory. I'm just realizing, so I'm just like. I have a herbalism Logan. kit. I have a poisonous <laughs> kit. I got nothing. <laughs> I can't but hear I that with, without thinking Eddie Izzard. 
<laughs> just a, <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> you Americans say herb, and we say herb because there's a fucking H in it. <laughs> herb. <laughs> herb. So that herb like it's herb. It's not herb. Herbism. It's herb. <laughs> herb. Because there's a fucking H in it. It's her, darling, her. Oh, good stuff, her. good stuff. All right, so... I... Oh, go ahead. I'm excited. Do you think we can do this, Logan? Do you think we have enough stuff? It ain't gonna be easy. But one thing I can tell you is that by the time you return to me here in Crystal City, you're gonna be a lot richer and a lot more knowledgeable. Whereabouts in Crystal City will you be? I like to make my camp here at night, but during the daytime, you'll generally find me at the Crystal Cavern. It's the underground Dwarven Tavern in the city. Strongest ale in the region. That'll do nicely. I think someone here already knows that. We all just look at the sailor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We can find you. Well, now that you've found you found me once, I out, imagine huh? it won't be too hard to find again. I wonder... Right. Would you... Would you, can you speak to the animals? Because I've just found out that I have maybe the ability to communicate with them. Can we send messages? I do not possess that ability firsthand, though I do have access to it. If you do send messages via animal messenger i do have the means to decipher it just might take me a little longer than uh some others okay question. we'll let you know why haven't you gone to get this crystal yourself what what stopped you <laughs> are you scared of the monsters probably it ain't the monsters <laughs> Part of it is the journey itself. When you get to be as aged as a uh, individual such as myself, a hike up into the mountains in the height of a uh, beginning of summer, it's just not my cup of tea so much anymore. Not to mention that in my youth when such adventures sounded a lot more fun, I done went and got this gem already. And it was in my possession for a good number of years before my apprentice decided to make off with it. Now, this oh. apprentice is, uh, is no longer among the living, but uh, rumor has it that the gem has made its way to Zetterick's Peak, which uh, out of game is the location he has directed you to. Diamond, Diamond, and beer. Beer. This is mm -hmm. Diamond riches and beer, so, I'm in. Alright. Can get this stone to you. I trust Crystal. we have ourselves Sorry. a deal. I put my dragon hand out. <laughs> Say, I promise. Andy. Promise, I will return it. <laughs> <laughs> we shake on it. Go! Cool. We shake hands now. We shake hands now. Right. Cool. We have ourselves an accord. We have an accord. Yay! Logan's process Yay. is uh, such that he is able to restore, as he was saying, he can restore your memory as you're taking your long rest and essentially the memories come back to you in the form of dreams so that when you awaken the next morning, it's like... I'm be a completely different person. Exactly. And okay. the can night I, passes I, uneventfully. 
So proceed uh, from the next morning with uh, your newly discovered self. Can I, hold on, in the night, I'd like to toss and turn and accidentally punch Vera in the face. <laughs> accidentally, like I'm like full on having a go and then I full on punch her in the face. And like, <laughs> I Back. thought it was going to be Logan, because of course Logan's right there next to you doing the magic, and in the middle, pfft, oh, damn it. Oh. That would have been funny. I didn't even think of that. I just thought Vera would have yeah. been sleeping next to me, and I would have just been like, dish. So, and I'm talking back. Just, just a light punch. <laughs> I was like, I wish to myself. I need to get some rope to tie her wrist to the ankles. That was like a bad baby. Ugh. And then I'm just like, like right. uh, watching. Is it the next morning? Overnight has kept me awake most of the night. So thanks, guys. Really, thanks for that. <laughs> He punched yeah, me! It's not my fault! He knew she was a violent sleeper. And, and I wake up, like, really dazed. Very dazed. And I'm giving you the best day. Hi. Morning. <sighs> yes, morning. Do you remember anything? Did it work? Was he true to his word? Did, did what work? The memories. What? Amazing. Did he Your memory, you. Because, oh, okay, so I just had a, this is a side note. Then drive. I don't remember me. these guys at all. <laughs> Like, oh, Vince, oh. gone. I don't remember these. Oh, shit. Uh, so, it's about to go down. <laughs> Shit's about to go down. Okay, hold on. Get back into character. <laughs> Who are you? What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I was watching the Arnold. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What, what do you mean, memories? Who Why do you mean like that? Do you, do, do you not question. remember? Brando City? We we went, yes. we had coffee together. We we found yes. Logan. You couldn't remember I who you were? Coffee. And Vera, you punched me in the face. Vera? And then, like, the, the name of Vera kind of comes back to me a little bit. I'm like, that does ring a bell, actually. But I don't, I don't, the I don't really know why. The ogres, really their breath, is screaming in your thick and foul, rotten breath yesterday. I'm sorry, who, I'm sorry, who are you? I'm it's... Una. Una, okay. Well, you know, well, I, I don't remember, but it's good that I know your name now. I don't, there's, there's nothing coming back to me, I'm sorry. I... Feels so dizzy. Wait, have some more. Where, where, where am I? Where? How did I get here? I look at Lo I look. I look at Logan. I look at Logan, and I feel like Logan needs to explain a little bit. <laughs> Vera goes up to the and says, "Dick, you silly man, Wait. you find me the diamond already? That was damn fast. Yeah, we got problem. He looks over to Maeth. Everything good over there, darling? No. Oh, I froze her in time. I didn't mean to cast oh. a time stop. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes. Now she's That was a good Marvel reference. <laughs> I think she's, yeah, she's slightly freezing up there, love. What's, uh, what's... Oh, no! That's still frozen? Um, no. slightly. 
It's just coming in a little uh, pixelated. Okay. It'll probably clear up here in a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's already Thank starting you. to clear. But yeah, Logan groggily comes to. What's the uh, what's the issue? She doesn't remember us. She wakes up and doesn't recognize us. I just woke up. Look, uh, I don't know who anyone else here is. I don't. I... Where yes. Where you are. Sometimes it might take a little while for uh, for path A to catch up with path B. Give it a, a couple hours and, and everything should kind of... Wake up, you silly man! Huh? Vera, can you wake the bear up, please? Alright. I'm going to the bear. Wake up! Wake up! And you know what? I'll get my... I'll open the spear. And I, I, I get, get some of the uh, footage news near the nose. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, I think I see eyes opening. Are you awake? Yeah. I'm yeah. Really I'm awake. Yeah. Can I go back to sleep now? <laughs> no. Hey, 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 hang on a minute. Don't, Logan. No, hey, hey, stop it. Wake up. Uh, a narcoleptic vision. Oh, Vera. What are we gonna do? It's just you I and me at the moment. I don't know. I don't have any herbs that could help. I don't know. Sorry. Herbs? Right. I. I'll be right back. I take my my bag and I go down to the river and I fill it up with water and I come back and I pour it on Rubida, uh Sailor's head <laughs> and then. I flicked the last dregs on Logan. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be like, yes, that's a girl. And I'm cheering like, that's a girl. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 monthly You're still feedback now. You're already long in the show. <laughs> right. I kind of, I kind of steadily like <laughs> stand up. I've been right. playing Logan on and off since I was 12 years old. Nobody has ever thrown water on him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Little do you know, he's the first cousin of the Wicked Witch of the West. Ah! Who'd have ever thought a small amount of water would fall on me? Ah! <laughs> My baby. My baby. Well, I guess we don't have to get him the diamond now. How did he survive this long? Doesn't it ever rain here? How does he bark? <laughs> How does he bark? Yeah. Shouldn't I'll he have smelled so worse than the ogres? <laughs> Probably haven't had a bath in centuries. <laughs> so yeah, he's just uh, kind of slowly opening his eyes. Uh, he is quite obviously exhausted, but trying his best to maintain some cognizance of the situation here. Hmm. Right. So you right. say that I'll be right. getting some more memories back within the next couple hours? Yeah, not sure why your your voice changed up like that, but, uh, yeah. My voice it... changed? What are you talking about? I've always talked like this. Well, uh... I I feel like I need as Una I need to cut through the noise right now and I go up to a mayor and I hold my hands out for her to take them and I say look I know you don't have a lot to go on but we've been through a lot in the last couple of days we helped bring you to the point where you could recover these memories you don't know it yet but you did lose them but we have a price we've got to pay. Trust us. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I feel this overwhelming sense of sadness because I've just re-remembered what happened um, from my past of being thrown out. Um, and not, I, I, obviously, I don't know why I was thrown out in the first place or who even did it. I don't, I, 
I have no recollection of this. So I'm, um, I just feel like quite sad, and I'm like, hey. I give her a hug. I feel I... like I'm so far away from home. I don't, I don't remember what happened. I, I, I only remember seeing a really sad. A child lost their parents in front of me, and all of a sudden, lightning hits and. I don't remember what happened after that. All of a sudden, I was in somewhere else. Did you hit me on the head? No, huh? not me. Not me. No, Vera. I'm, I'm looking at Vera. I'm, I'm looking at Vera. I look at Vera, and I'm like, "Did you hit me on the head?" I remember looking up and seeing you hit me on the head. Me. Yes. I've never. I'm. Never met you two days ago, dear. I don't know you. Get another belt. This is how the shift I'm you like. Didn't you do that like, when you first. Didn't you hit me when you first met me? I poked you. I poked you. I poked you. Yeah. No, silly girl. I poked you with a stick. I did. No, she did. I didn't do that. I remember that. I remember you doing that. I was just. I thought. Well, my dear, I thought you were dead, so I nudged you. Dick. Right. Well, I've got to get. I've got to get home. I. I've got to find my way home. Do you know where my home is? I look around and I'm like, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal City. Crystal City is here, and I am. Far away from my home right now. I'm very fucking far from my home. If Crystal City is that one there. So why are we here? What's going on? Why? What? And then all of a sudden, like, as I say this, like, the memories just kind of come back a little bit. And I'm like, just flooded through memories. Just like flooded through when I was just like, fuck. I, I just get like pulled over by these memories and I like, fall over. <laughs> like, oh my that. god. Ooh. Ooh. I think I just remembered everything. Ooh. God. Yeah, yeah something right. little works a little quicker for some. Right. So we've got to find you a crystal. And then I can go home. And I'm true to my words, and I did shake on it, so let's go. I'll go. All right. What's up with this guy? He's fallen back asleep, and I look stare at the sailor. What's up with that one? He's gone back to sleep. Yeah, I, I, I think maybe he's got mange or something. <laughs> oh, I may have left it here, but died by accident. Sorry. Actually, you know what? I'm not really sorry. What did you do, Vera? What did you do? Oh, he used to wake up, and since he loves to get drunk and drink a lot of beer, I tried to wake him up with a sip of the beer, and then you said, you're more fascinated than beer. The beer is attended just... by his side, so he may have yeah, we'll be back. drank it, and I may actually put a little something in it. A little something? Yes, um, that was my beer, and it helps with my energy. I think it may have an effect on him and make him go back to sleep. He should be waking up with loads of energy in a few seconds. That's what happens. Although he's sitting, it might take a bit longer. Any second, he's about to wake up. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Is I'm up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, have a cup of water. I think no, he drank it. Up in the me. I think he drank a cup of pixelated coffee because all of a sudden. He's, I, 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 what happened? <laughs> 
nonton. I think you need to drink some more water. I think you need to scald the whole fucking thing. I think that's a side effect kicking in. The side effects are kicking in! <laughs> He's turned into a fucking robot! <laughs> you can dance. You can dance. Computer <laughs> 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 must have been pretty strong if got both of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did I do wrong? Tell me! <laughs> I don't even know anything about Mars! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey! Hello! Oh. What about us? Oh, great, that's oh. happening oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. There we go, we can hear you <laughs> loud and clear. Okay, let's just drag the bear Back along with us. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Around them. Um... <laughs> Does anyone have a lo a levitating spell? Does anybody have a levitating spell? Bring him with us. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know where to begin. No. Neither would I. I'm too old. I'll break my bones. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Now weak. Apparently, you take this guy off of his boat and he can't move anymore. <laughs> He's done. He's out. He's turned into a robot. We can't move him. Get on a wagon. Somebody get this guy in air. I'm a large stack of mechanical parts now. <laughs> we can work with that. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, so uh, are All right. we thinking that we will bypass. Yeah. Crystal City, or do we actually want to venture into the city? Well, we've all just had. Oh, hell, let's buy them. Yeah, we should go straight. Straight. The faster okay. we get it, the faster I can go home. Can I figure out who the fuck got, <laughs> got me out of my Yes, home. I agree with this one. <laughs> I managed right. to catch home hoofa. What? That's all I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chloe cut out a little <laughs> bit there as well. <laughs> I, I, really? I, I think I pieced together <laughs> basically that the sooner we get going, the sooner we find out uh, who did this to me. Yeah. Yes. That's what I got that was Am I back? Am yes. I back? Yes. Yep. yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm really not liking this. Thank the Lord. Please, Sarah. Let's go while we're all here. All right. All right. So we get a. I'd like to ask Logan. Uh, I'd like to ask Logan where we go. Yes. Where do we go from here? Well, I'll uh, I'll draw you a map here of the uh, the nearby region. Great. Should hopefully help you kind of find your way around. Yeah, this is going to open up a pretty large swath of area there. Yep. There we go. Hopefully catching up on the stream here. There we go. So Chalkum Range is the area in question just on the other side of Silver City. Looks like I've got the... There we go. So basically what we're looking at is a straight hike up along the top of the gorge and then either up the mountain or somehow through the mountain, be it through some caves or what have you, until eventually we end up at Zedrix Peak, uh, up right over here. And that will be ah! the context of our adventure uh, next week when we get together, as we uh, proceed up into those mountains. 
Well, Can we get you a flea treatment? Got... Does anyone have a flea treatment? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't... I've got cure wounds actually. If it's a wound, <laughs> it's a bit of a I'm wound, isn't it? Please, the wound. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to make it a long trip, isn't it? Please, will you? Yeah. I really gotta say, this is a uh, a nice change of pace, especially to uh, conclude the gaming week for myself. Uh, I run four other games. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then one more right before this. And uh, most of them are pretty combat intensive, very strategic, mechanical according to the rules. And we get a good amount of roleplay done with those characters as well, but this group uh, especially is very roleplay intensive. And it's, uh, it's very, very cool to see from all four of you. Even... Uh, even Rubito, like I was saying, uh, doing a lot with a little. Sometimes you don't have to be front and center all the time. People are aware that you're there, and then you just uh, make a, a lot happen with a small statement. And same thing, uh, Elise, even though right. you're you're not on camera here with us, you're very present in all of the role play, and I'm enjoying, uh, I'm enjoying this a lot. Well, hopefully we can flourish with the group. Yes. And Vera's oh, awesome. Yeah. She scares me, but she's awesome. And I would like... She is amazing. I'd like to apologize for my terrible accent, by the way. Oh, no, it was fine. I told you going to be really bad. And it turned out Irish, not Scottish, apparently. So. That was actually really good. It was. <laughs> yeah, it that was. I've had to practice a lot, but that was really good. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it yeah. Was for sure. If I tried Scottish, it would be different. <laughs> All right, yeah. cool. Hopefully, Vera wasn't too scary this time. I thought uh, each of the characters were very cool. Very glad to get Sailor oh. involved. Very, very cool to have a brief encounter there with some ogres. Oh. Our first level up as a group here in Acilia. Yes. And hopefully, I'm can we I'm start a charitable fund to supply ogres with breath mint? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Sarah. I'm really glad we got to see a little bit. I'm glad we got to see a little bit of Zalaria. Yes. That yes. Was cool. <laughs> that was very cool was as cool. well. Yeah. Yep. Ogres. Yeah, that's my plan just to have a, a PR every once in a while. Flip it. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I liked the expansion upon the ogres too. Like just upon seeing their mm. visage, we're like, "Oh, these things stink!" And then it just elaborates to the point where we're like, "Yeah, next time we'll fight them off with some breath mints." <laughs> very, very <laughs> cool. Toothpaste. <laughs> Should get some soap gun. Boom. Or like in Dawn of the Dead, when he just, in Dogma, when he just he he sprays the Febreze, knocks out strong odors. <laughs> I, I had a yeah. quick thought. Maybe we can pop by the the pet grooming salon with um with uh, Sailor while we're close to Crystal City. You know, a give you a, 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 a groom, a blow out, good pampering. You know, you know? Yeah. give him a little spa day, little bow. He's got a little bow. It's not very nice. Get your, get your claws, get your claws, you no know, sharpened. Good for attacking. <laughs> claws and toes sharpened to be good. Flea bath. Flea bath. All sounds pretty appealing. Shave you like a poodle. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't shave a bear like a poodle. Watch me. Yikes. <laughs> I want to see the, right, uh, the illustration it. of that. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tonight. Until next Monday when we come back with the open tables. Hope you all have a great weekend. It was a pleasure and an honor sharing the tabletop with all four of you tonight. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed. Are you with us? Yeah. Thank you. What?
All right. Bye, guys. Happy mm-hmm. Easter. Happy oh, Easter. Oh, sorry. I won't be here next. <laughs> we'll have to figure out what... We certainly will. I will uh, be in contact with you there, Sarah, and we'll figure out uh, what you would uh, like to do in response to what I anticipate the uh, the path will be. And yeah, happy Easter, everybody. Yeah. Catch you next Friday. Yeah. Have a great right. weekend. Bye. 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 Thank you.